In 2012, Oculus posted a Kickstarter seeking $250,000. Instead, they got $2.7 million and launched the current VR revolution. Now, the Rift is a finished product, but it's a step behind in the race that it started. The Rift is a sleek, lightweight headset. Much of it is covered in IR transparent fabric, which looks like plastic to the eye, but lets infrared light through to sensors hidden underneath. The straps feel more durable than with other VR headsets, and Oculus has precisely tuned the tension of every component. Putting the Rift on is almost as easy as slipping on a baseball cap. But that comfort is interrupted the moment you launch a game. The Rift, unlike HTC's Vive, is designed to be used in a chair with an Xbox controller. There's a severe disconnect between what you see and what you feel, and that means motion sickness. We had a half dozen testers use the Rift, and all of them reported disorientation or nausea. They also unanimously found the Vive more comfortable. Most experienced no vertigo with that headset at all. Personally, I can use the Rift indefinitely without being ill, but it does cause a sense of general discomfort that I'd rather not experience. While comfort using the Rift can vary, everyone will find it easy to set up and use. The Rift has a simple, quick installer and far fewer cords to connect than HTC's Vive. Its bundled interface, Oculus Home, is also easier to understand and more fluid than Steam VR. We think most gamers can handle the Vive setup and interface, but the Rift is so simple that anyone who knows what a USB port is can get started. Home is a double-edged sword though, since it means gamers need to sign up for yet another software store, and Home's feature set is rudimentary. The Rift also lacks a standout game. Eve Valkyrie is a rather shallow title oriented heavily towards competitive online multiplayer. The other headliner, Lucky's Tale, is fun but ultimately mediocre 3D platformer that doesn't benefit much from being in VR. While we didn't try every game, the others we had time with, like Dread Halls, Farlands, and Blaze Rush, felt similarly shallow. Oculus has clearly put a lot of work into the Rift and it shows in the headset's lightweight, comfortable design. But the device tends to cause discomfort after just a few minutes of use, and its lineup of launch titles doesn't contain any specific reason to spend $600 on the Rift. Everyone in our office agrees the Vive is more fun. Of course, the Vive requires more space to use, but if you don't have the room, you should probably wait for the second generation of VR tech. The Rift still needs some work, 